All right, guys, in this video, we will see how we can uh, successfully create observable data service uh, inside of Angular with the help of RxJS. So uh, let's say that we have uh, the following categories. Basically, we'll be able, whenever we click on uh, certain of those uh, categories, to get the objects which belong to those uh, categories. Uh, so simulating something like a master detail page. So let's see how we can do this. All right, so here uh, we have one data service where we have one interface category and then uh, we have sample categories and uh, the same for the product. So we have another uh, interface for the product and uh, all those objects are compliant with the, uh, this interface. So first we'll see how we can display the categories. Here in the data service, we have uh, one observable, which is basically uh, grabbing uh, this array of objects and with the help of uh, of operator is uh, creating an observable and it's called all categories inside of our app component uh, we are injecting the data service uh, dependency and then we have uh, all categories uh, internal variable which is connected with the data service all categories this allows us uh, to use all categories inside of the app component we are subscribing to the observable and uh, afterwards we are listing all the categories. Then we are handling the click event. So whenever we click on the category, we are running this uh, select category function. And let's see what is inside. Uh, this function again calls uh, something from the data service uh, with a specific uh, category. This is the select category function. Let's see what this function does. And here it is, select category. We have constructed one uh, subject beforehand and one observable which will observe uh, the subject. And as you can see, the subject is private, so we can uh, modify it just from this uh, uh, data service class, from this file. And we are providing to uh, all the uh, services or components which will be using the data service, this selected products observable, uh, and it's read only. So we can uh, just uh, see the modified data inside. Whenever we are selecting a category, basically we are using the subject and we are propagating via the next method the uh, received ID parameter. So that's how we will have inside of the data service from the component, the selected uh, category, which uh, the user uh, has chosen. And then inside of app component, we have app details. And uh, this is the details component. Again, uh, having the same structure, it subscribes uh, to products observable and displays the properties of this observable whenever it changes. And here in the TypeScript file, the products observable is taken again from the data service, selected category products. And now this uh, selected category products is a little bit longer function. And basically it hides the magic of uh, observable data service. The goal of this uh, observable is uh, to get the latest emitted observable from the selected category, so whatever the user has clicked, and uh, to combine it with uh, all the products that we have here. This way, if uh, the database is changed or something in the selection the user is making is uh, being changed, this combined latest will detect the changes and will emit observable the next interesting thing is that combined latest is uh, emitting two arrays of observables. So that's why we're using the structuring here within the map operator to be able to uh, get them with uh, normal names uh, without using indexes afterwards. So whenever we have the products and selected category, we are just using a filter on the product. With this simple filtering, if the user has uh, selected a certain category, this function will uh, go and loop over uh, this uh, array of objects and we'll choose only uh, the products which have uh, the selected category. And since we are uh, inside of an observable, we are using the map operator uh, in order finally to return an observable of product. And this makes it ready inside of our details component to be uh, displayed. So that's the main benefit of using uh, observable data service that you can put all the logic that you have inside of the data service and just from the components, you can uh, subscribe uh, to the exposed observables and that's how they will be synchronized with a single source of truth 
which is the data service. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like the information, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.